All right, guys, welcome back. We only have about a week, week and a half left of our trapping season. So today on this video, we're going to do a little bit different type of trapping. We're going to try to catch some bait. Um, I've had these big old rats coming in my chicken feed and stuff and eating all my chicken feed. And, and I'm not going to feed rats, I'm sorry. But I'm going to catch these rats and I'm going to use them as coyote bait and try to get that last hoorah, you know, that Hail Mary, because I can't catch one. Um, I've seen them on my deer, uh, deer cameras whenever they're coming through. For some reason, I don't think they like the bait I bought. And uh, so we're going to use something to eat all the time, rats. And these rats, they're pretty big. So we're going to give them a try. You can see we've got a live trap. I'm going to set it with a hair trigger. Then I bought these big old wooden traps. And uh, I actually got 20-pound test line on them. We're going to stake them in case it gets his arm caught or something. Can't run off from a trap. But... Um, they really just turn digging tunnels all up around my chicken house and getting up in there and getting chicken feed. So I'm going to show y'all what the damages are doing. And man, these are, these are big rats. These holes are biggest around. I can stick my fist in. But uh, let me show you real quick. All right, guys, you can see right in there. I mean, you can see they done dug a tunnel in there. You see how big that, that hole is? When they can pop out on the other side of that four by four, four by six, whatever it is. And then there's actually some leaves on top of those holes. Then there's a big old hole right here. And you can see they're going in there every day. Look how slick that path is. It's almost like a beaver path sliding down in the creek. But uh, we're gonna catch them. I mean, that is crazy. And luckily my chicken feed is in the uh, tin can, tin uh, garbage can. And you come around here, you can see I threw sand in there and they dug it out the next day. But they coming in here, eating up my chicken feed in my bucket. And chickens, they waste enough. Look at it on the ground. I'm thinking about putting an automatic feeder on there so the that rooster can't go in there and rake all the feed out because he's wasting. But man, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. All right, guys, the next day, let's see what we caught in them rat traps. All right, y'all can see we got, we got one of them. Big old rat. Get him out. Get him on some ice. Something came in the live trap last night. And got a piece of bread. Cause there was none up here. It was all in the back. Something triggered that one off. You can see it's being fired, but didn't catch it. And I got cheese on it. This one in here in the lean tube got fired. Didn't catch nothing. So we're gonna reset them for tonight, y'all. Size hole right there. Yeah, you can see I got it pretty big, but the whole squirrel up in there, at least half of them.
night, guys. Just like I promised, got a fresh squirrel I shot this morning, so we're gonna cut him up and put him in there. That hole's big enough I can cram him back in there. Waiting on to the uh, coyote to come do his part. Guys, y'all can see something got in there and pulled out my sheep wool. But we're going to dig it up a little bit and we're going to put the, um, the other part of that squirrel in there. Well, I might put that rat in this one. That's gonna be it. Guys, I ain't no professional at no trapping, but um, we got two days left, and I'm throwing the hell Mary. I'm giving them everything they eat live, fresh, but um, we're gonna find out. Like I said, I ain't no professional, and I gotta make me one of those uh, sift screens to cover up my traps. I've been making one for two weeks now, I keep forgetting it. Every time I think about it, I'm out here trying to set a trap, but. We'll see what we can catch in the next day or two.